How's it going, guys? It's Sunday, and have someone coming to look at the Saturn. So we got it started up. People kept asking if like the heat works, so which I didn't know for sure because I didn't run it long enough to even try. But I used the defrost this morning, and it defrosted the whole car pretty quick. So it does work pretty good. Um, I asked my brother yesterday, he didn't know 100% on these batteries where you're supposed to hook up the actual charge controller and inverter if you're using both. So as of right now, a charge controller comes in this side and you don't want to see the batteries and then I'm pulling from this side. So I don't know if I need to, he was thinking I can pull from here but I need to have like the ground here and the positive at the other end of the circuit. So if you know, leave a comment down below because I'm not 100% sure and searching it did absolutely nothing. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to my brother's and he has these RGBW LED light things. I'll have him explain them, what they are. But pretty much he made them into this little like soffit thing that he's gonna put on his house. So he's doing like his own DIY Christmas lights. Oh well, guys, I uh, finally sold the Saturn. Sold it for fifteen hundred. It's asking eighteen hundred and pretty much no one was gonna end up buying it for that much. So it's really a nice guy and his daughter came and bought it as her first car and they're just looking for something to kind of fix up and it's an all-wheel drive vehicle so it's decent and I was selling it for Michaela's sister which was nice enough to give us 500 of the 1500 so that definitely helps out quite a bit especially Christmas time and all that so that was awfully nice of her and now I'm going to go to my brother's and see what these Christmas light things are and how we're mounting them and all that fun stuff, so. Alright, this is Adam. He made these, what it, like DIY Christmas lights that you can kind of leave up all year round. Yeah, so um, basically I got um, these... They're called like pixel node lights is I think one of the brands that makes them, but these are a different brand. I don't know exactly what it is. I got them off Amazon, um, but they're individually addressable RGB lights. Um, are they RGBW uh, I or don't, just RGB? I think they're just RGB, um, but you can see over there there's two connectors. That one with the black connector, that's for your data and main power for the diodes. And then the red and blue, that's your 12 volt feed. That'll go all the way through to keep it full brightness all the way down. Um, they make like mounting plates that you can buy, but like for as much as I would need, it would have costed between $150 and $200 just for the mounting stuff. So it's not anywhere near perfect, but I went and got some corrugated plastic and drilled all the holes. And I did all, or I think I have enough distance from one sheet, which was $20. So, you got two more sheets over $20 here. $20 of corrugated plastic to get me um, the entire house. And down here right now, we just have enough for the top lip. I have basically two more sets of the same, same length. Um, and then it came with this controller. I don't know if I'll use it. I'll probably use it for now just to have them working. And I'm going to switch it out for now. Do we know that way I can go in and actually fully customize the patterns and stuff? Um, so you just connect to the smartphone app? Yeah, so you just connect it to your Wi-Fi, which this specific one was a pain to get set up, but we finally got it to work. And then you have your um, power in. It just takes 12 volts. Um, and I have my power supply um, over here. So it just takes a 12 volt power supply. I think this one's rated for like 300 watts or something like that. And uh, um, you just feed it in there and then you have this your... This is just normal like Cat6 wire? Yeah, I just used Cat6 because I had to run network wire up there anyways for the cameras. And it's eventually you can go down to the basement, but I figured I, I don't have power where I want it in the basement yet, so I'm just going to use this right here for now. Um, and uh, 
And then you just hook up this to the actual LEDs, and then you run 12 volts, again, from the power supply to those two um, lines on, on each strip of LEDs um, for its own power. And then uh, you can set it all up through the app, but I my, just uh, read your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, and the one thing that I kind of like about the fact that I used my own corrugated plastic is nobody else really had an option for um, hiding the wire unless you went and bought like metal um, channels for it to go in. So I just scored it and we're going to try to fold it back and zip tie it or something so then it'll mount with the front lip on the front of the house. So you'll see it from this side and from the bottom you won't, all you'll see is the plastic. Yeah, plastic. from the bottom you won't see the wires at all. Um, Oh, and by the way, these are fully waterproof, and so you can leave them up year-round. And corrugated plastic is obviously waterproof, so um, everything here should should hopefully not give way to the weather. But yeah, I think and that's kind of the plan. We plan on drilling through. My house has a little piece of um, that's what I was going to show them. Wood coming down. So kind of like this, it has this front lip. It's just thicker up there. Is where we're doing it. And then, so basically we'll just be able to put this up here and screw it in from the backside. And it should kind of give it a clean look. And and then he's talking about maybe drilling some little holes and running like a zip tie up to the wires just to keep this bottom lip up so you don't see it. So, kind of from the outside, that's all you'll see is that. But it'll be way up there. Hello? So. Pretty much it, we'll let you know how it's going. I think for right now we're just figuring out what screws to use yeah. and figure out a method of how we're gonna keep that bottom flap up. So, he's got three of these full sheets. But yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. All right, so we got everything installed. It's it says it's 48 degrees, 47, feels like 43. My hands are frozen because of the ladder. But we got them all up there and we got them all at their 90 degree position with the cable in there. These are for the other lights, the cable's hanging down. Because if they're fixing his deer. But, I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit darker and turn them on and see what they look like. Oh my gosh, the glitter. Yeah, I can do it. You don't have to do it. I did it. No. You don't need it now. You don't need it now, better boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if this is actually staking anything in on that one, but I think four it's, stakes for this little thing is a little overkill. At least it keeps it from falling over. I need to get a hammer to get these the rest of the way in. Use your foot. The problem is, I don't think I can get my foot all the way on that. Daddy, daddy boy there. Daddy boy. Are you just plugging these all together? Um, sure. I don't really need to, but I can. <laughs> it's like a centipede. Because they end up on the plugs that have three, three things. Alright, let's try it on daddy deer. Daddy deer, do, 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 do. That's pretty cool. Those are a lot cooler than I thought they'd be. How do you rate them? Uh, I don't know, pretty good. Out of 10. I like them. Out of 10, uh, the LEDs themselves are like a nine out of 10. I, just if they came with a better controller, that'd be cool, but yeah. nobody really makes a better the, controller. The app is a pain too. Um, the app's not. Awful, which is I mean, great. you just deleted all your <laughs> settings like, within 10 you, seconds. To get through all of your liked settings, to like only get through those, you have to press and hold the like button and it'll go to only like mode. But if you press like on that, it unlikes the one that you're currently on and goes to the next one. So you don't need, you can't oh, just re-like well. it. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah, but. That's pretty cool. I want to see it when it's like when pitch black out here. One. Yeah. And when it's dark, yeah, I'm excited. Well guys, those were 
pretty cool. Look pretty good from the street and everything as well. That was fun. Definitely cool. You know, to see what it looks like when you're done after doing all that work. But it was pretty chilly today doing that. It, you know, it could obviously be worse, but definitely worth it, I think. I'm off this week, so get as many videos out as I can. Tomorrow we might, I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like, but I might do some tracks videos the TRX4 so pretty much it for now I'll see you guys in the next video